everyone. It's Evelyn. Thank you so much for joining me on my channel today. I'm glad that you're here. Welcome. So I have a haul video for you today. I don't normally do random hauls, but I got a lot of really fun stuff this week from some brand new super cute Etsy clothes to some really awesome Facebook marketplace finds, including some vintage Samantha pieces. So let's go ahead and take a look at what I got. My most exciting package this week came from Sean over at Obsessed Doll Boy AG. So he is one of my favorite YouTubers. He's an AGIG -er, and now he is an Etsy shop owner. It's called Obsessed Doll Apparel and he's got some cute stuff. He was kind enough to send me an outfit and I am so excited to show it off to you. You can find him on AGIG at Obsessed underscore Doll Boy underscore AG or his Etsy Instagram at Obsessed Doll Apparel. You can find him here on YouTube at Obsessed underscore Doll Boy AG and his Etsy shop at Obsessed Doll Apparel. I'll put all of the links in the description below and be sure to check him out because he has a release coming on Saturday, February 3rd, 2024. That's tomorrow as I'm posting this video. So let's go ahead and take a look at the package that he sent me. Right off the bat, I really love the packaging. Of course, it's roses, flowers. I love me some florals. And he has put such a sweet note in here. It's so nice. And he's given me a little bracelet. I wasn't expecting that. And it was such a nice surprise. Speaking of, I also was surprised to receive this shirt. It is so cute. I believe it's a part of his lover's release. And I didn't realize I was getting it. And I'm so excited because it's going to be perfect for Valentine's Day coming up. Now the outfit that I knew I was getting, I was so excited for because I had seen him post these on AGIG. I didn't realize he made them though until he reached out to me and I was like, no way, these are just so cute and I'm just so excited to be able to put this on my dolls. He has other colors, but of course I chose pink. He's got green and blue and he's working to add more. So this is just lovely. The fabric is cotton and it's more of a thick cotton and it's not cheap by any means. I'm really impressed by the quality and detail of this piece. You've got some really nice pleating in here and a cute bow on the top. I don't think that the shorts are too short or too long. It's really perfect. And there's no Velcro to snag. It's just stretch on and off. Next is this bow. I'm a big fan of big old bows and love to put them on my own kids and now I have one for my dolls. We've got an alligator clip to put it on and then he's added some bead and ribbon detail to the back of it. Now the top is probably my favorite because again so much detail here. The sleeves have some ruching and also some bows on them. It's so cute. I love it. The back he's even matched the snaps and made those pink. There's no Velcro here. I don't like Velcro. It snags on everything. These puff sleeves are so cute and I just love the detail here. It's an amazing, amazing outfit. Well done. Oh, and he's even put a heart on here. So again, perfect for Valentine's Day. All of the little details are so cute. It's kind of a little coquette cottage core vibes with the pink. And then we have this shirt, which is so high quality feeling. He's used some extra thick Velcro here. It is Velcro, but it's nice and thick and sturdy. And also a really big fan of waffle knit material or ribbed material for doll clothes because I just think it gives it that little extra something and makes it look a lot more high quality than a plain cotton or a plain jersey fabric with no pattern at all. Here I am dressing Ember in the outfit and I'm including this because I wanted to briefly talk to you about a hashtag that we have going around on AGIG. It's hashtag use the Addy face mold. We would really love to see American Girl brand use this face mold more often because it is absolutely cute and beautiful and all of the good things, but they've only used it for one character doll and we currently only have one other doll available 
in the lineup with this face mold. So I would really love to see them use it for a girl of the year, hopefully sometime very soon. And if you have an AGIG, I would encourage you to go on over there and show off your Addie dolls and call for American Girl to use this mold. So that being said, here she is in the outfit. Look how cute Ember looks in this. The pink is gorgeous on her. I love this so much. She looks so cute. I really need to get more Etsy clothes because I do really like American Girl brand items, but I don't really like any other like brands other than homemade Etsy stuff. And it's really important right now to be supporting small businesses, including this one. So definitely check out his shop. He's got some really cute stuff coming and thank you again, Sean, for sending me this outfit. I'm so excited to have all of my dolls wear it and to show it off to everyone I know. And of course, we have my number 58. Her name is Zuri. She is wearing the other shirt that he sent me. I think this looks really cute on her. Again, an Addie mold. I just love, love, love the Addie mold. She looks cute in anything. I would love to see a re-release of this gal for sure. So that's it for the Obsessed Doll Apparel Package. Thank you so much, Sean, for sending this to me. I am so grateful and so excited that you did. Next up, we're going to go ahead and open the one item that I got in the recent up to 70% off sale. You heard that right. I only got one item and here it is. Of course, had to get this outfit for my doll, Isaiah. I don't have a ton of clothes for him. And what I really like about this is that he is going to be able to match with his twin, Zuri because I have the skirt already that matches with that same plaid print. So this Janie and Jack one wasn't as good of quality as I felt that the something Navy one that were released in 2023 is, but you know, the dress shirt, it still feels like a dress shirt. It's just a little bit of more of a thin material. I do really love the pants though. This is a really cool fabric and it's just very unique. I think that it's a pretty unique piece, but unfortunately that means it's not really going to mix and match well with other pieces, but that's okay. This set comes with a ton of pieces. Of course, we've got some nice little socks and my favorite, the little bow tie. I think he's just going to look so handsome in this and I can't wait to get him in it. So here he is in the outfit. Of course, he looks so dapper and handsome and the material of this vest in particular is kind of a velvet material, which I really like. I think that this looks really good and very festive without being specifically for Christmas. So I'm very happy to have it now in my collection. This next outfit is one that I've been wanting for a very long time, and I was able to find it locally here for $10. This is the first day outfit. It was the second me outfit and the American Girl of Today line, and I think I got the version that was sold separately because it didn't include shoes, but that's okay. I am still so excited to have been able to get this. We've got a lot of different textures going on in here. The pants are like a bit of a velvety material, and then this jacket is made out of felt, which is definitely an interesting choice. We've got the American Girl of Today logo on the sleeve and a bunch of different colors on here. Very bright, very cute. Definitely would have hated it back in the 90s, but you know, now looking back, it's got that nostalgia factor. The shirt has almost the most nostalgia factor for me though, because this is definitely something that I could see myself wearing as a kid. It's a crew neck shirt, just a basic cotton, and then there is a scrunchie to match. So here it is on Yvette. Doesn't she look so cute in this? I don't know what it was. I think maybe the color I thought would look really cute on her, but she looks adorable. And I just, some reason having this outfit, it makes me feel all of the nostalgia and it's just so interesting to get these things that I saw in the catalog as a kid and never could get and to now be spending my adult money on these things, you know, kind of a surreal feeling. Oh, and I did, if you saw my most recent video, I just got an American Girl of Today number four. So I had to put that one on her too. She looks so cute in it. Next up are Julie's zigzag pajamas, which I got from the same seller. I do collect for Julie, so I was very excited to see these, and I only paid 10 bucks for them. Now, there are bright pink, which is not my favorite pink, but they're still very cute. 
They remind me of Lila's collection colors a little bit because you've got the yellow, the orange, and the hot pink. And I really like the pants on these. So just happy to have them to add to my Julie collection. They're not my very favorite pajamas ever, but they sure are pretty cute. The next item is Felicity's travel gown, which I really wasn't going to get, but the seller had it with Kit's pajamas for 10 bucks for, for both of them together. So I got this one. It's definitely my favorite Felicity meat dress, but I don't have Felicity. Don't know that I want her, so I may or may not be keeping it. The material is not what I expected it. It's a very slick feeling material, kind of feels like the inside of a jacket or something, but it's really pretty. I really like it. Right now I have it on my custom doll, Juliet, who's meant to be my grandma as a little girl. And my grandma always wanted a Felicity, so I thought it would be fun to try it on her. And the main reason that I got these two items is for these pajamas. Again, for my doll of my grandma. She grew up in the 1930s and 40s, so wanted to get Kit's items for her, and these just reminded me of her. So I'm glad to have these. These are actually really good quality. I'm very impressed, and I didn't come with slippers or anything, but I was just excited to have these at such an inexpensive price and they look so cute on Miss Juliet here. So these next items I'm going to show you I got in a lot on Facebook Marketplace last night and this is a bunch of like vintage Pleasant Company Samantha stuff. She threw in this doll for free and I was like this doll is so old she almost doesn't even feel or look like an American Girl doll. She's so bent out of shape. She's in terrible condition. But she does have quite an interesting look to her. I'm going to have to do some research to figure out like what version of Samantha this is because she doesn't really look like any of the other Samantha dolls that I've ever seen that, you know, like the white body Samantha. She has these darker eyes. Um, Finn from AG and SoCal on Instagram mentioned maybe she's a slate eyed Samantha. I don't know, though. Her eyebrows are throwing me off. I don't know what I'm going to do with her. Um, for right now, I just think she's kind of a fun piece of history to look at, and clearly somebody loved this doll very, very much. So it's very cool to see her and to have her in my home. I'm just showing the, the back of her so you guys can see it. If you guys know anything, definitely let me know. I'm curious to find out who I've got here. So next up is her bed, and this is what I really wanted. I didn't necessarily have my eyes on this until I saw it online on Facebook Marketplace. So I mentioned earlier my grandma. I mean, y'all already know she's a really important woman to me and she's now gone. Well, when I was a kid, she had purchased Samantha's like nightgown for my cousins and I, like a kid size version. And then our dolls had that same nightgown. And it's got that similar look to it of the white with the pink ribbons. And not only that, but my grandma's bed, she had put little ribbons in her actual down comforter, just like this looks. So she had bedding in a bed that looked like this. The only difference is that the bed that she had was white metal and not this like bronzy gold. So uh, this entire lot was 60 bucks. I thought it was a good deal. It had the bed and then her like nightstand thing <laughs> and the doll and a couple of accessories. So she came with this little bitty doll. This is Clara. I don't really know much about her other than this is Samantha's doll. Although I will say all of these little details on her are really cute. We got lace and pearls and all that good stuff. Next is her commode, which is another thing I was excited about because it's made of wood. We've got these cute little porcelain pitcher and bowl. We have a Wizard of Oz doll size book. I love doll size books and this one has actual text inside it's not just blank pages so that's really fun and then she's got a little towel in there as well that goes with the commode and basically the big thing that I like about this is that it's made of real wood it's top-notch quality I'm gonna have to clean it up a little bit but other than that I mean this is gonna hold up really well it already has held up for maybe you know 30 plus years at this point it's this is the american girl that we all know and love and it's just really so fun to see these pieces from before i was even born so i went ahead and put this in the dollhouse for now this is not going to be the permanent color on of this room but this is the bedding that i have chosen for this room of the dollhouse thank you guys so much for watching i really appreciate it and i hope that you enjoyed this random 
mishmash of things that I got this last week. I really love a good haul and this felt like a very good haul. So just a couple of reminders. Remember to use the hashtag use the Addy face mold over on AGIG to let American Girl know that we love Addy and her face mold and we would love to see them use it more. Also, as a reminder, I'm collecting questions for my Ultimate Guide series. I have a community post out there, or you can message me on Instagram. And, of course, until we speak again, be sure to take care of yourselves. Bye, guys.